Ladies and gents, one Rusiji reaction, and this is a Water Bears OP by Tier Zoo. Water Bears, or we all science lover calls it Tardy Grays. <laughs> okay. Water Bears are fake news. Why the hell are they fake news? Water Bears are this small thing. I first learned of, of them from the so cosmos. They are really sturdy. You know, they survive basically any environment. People found it on the moon. Apparently, they shut off when they go to space and when you, you know, put water on them, they come back, apparently. So that's, they're really sturdy. I don't know why he says water is a fake news, but okay. This is by TSU. TSU is a great channel. I've reacted to quite a few videos from this channel already. If you haven't seen them, check out the cards. There's a playlist I created for it. TSU reacts on something like that. Check out the reaction to like real life lore, you know, CGB Grey, Internet Story and others. Yeah, that's all this one. Since this has been pretty much my most requested meta-analysis from the start, I feel I owe it to you guys to tackle this subject as a thank you for reaching almost 10,000 subscribers in just over a month. With that said, you guys might not like what I have to say about it. Water bears. <sighs> Judging by how many comments you all made praising the water bear, it's obvious none of you have actually ever tried to play that build before. Let me walk you through the character creation process for water bears, with the hopes that you realize that they make basically all of the wrong choices. Hey, looks like you've chosen Kingdom Animalia. Good choice. They've got the most interesting gameplay in my opinion. Okay, so from here, what are you feeling? Bilateral symmetry, good, good choice. Brains are fun. Okay, so are you feeling endo or exoskeleton? Oh, okay, I'm an endo guy myself, but I see the value in having armor. Oh, you don't want armor. You sure? You're so close. You've almost specked into the arthropod guild. That's got the S tiers like spiders and insects. Well, alright, so where are we going with this? I mean, without armor, you'll probably need some good evasion abilities, or really solid offense, right? No? None of that? Jeez, you're gonna be a sitting duck. Well, I guess since you didn't go for any of those, you've got a lot of evolution points left. What are you going for? Maybe some poison? Or maybe some super good camouflage? What? Heat resistance? Okay, unorthodox, but sure. Wait, you want ice resistance too? Why would you want both? I feel like tardigrades are Buddhist. I don't believe in any kind of war, defense, or... I just want to sit here and meditate. Just give me protection from the sun and cold. That's all I need. Well, okay, there you go. What else? Radiation resistance. Okay, exactly how often do you think that's going to come in handy? Supernova resistance. Oh, I don't know when they go to the moon. When they go to moon. <laughs> Resistance, gamma ray burst resistance, asteroid impact resistance. Exactly what are you expecting to encounter? Jeez, your lifespan is only a year. Is Tiazu hitting himself? This is awesome. This thing alone makes them one of the most untouchable things in the world. Yes, you know, they'll die by common animals eating them, whatever. Look at that. Heat resistance, ice resistance, radiation resistance, supernova resistance, gamma ray burst. Isn't that the same thing? Meteor impact resistance. I mean, they are they are not thinking small here. They, are, they, they I think they have a big brain. Apparently, <laughs> they are trying to you know survive millennia here, trying to survive generations. You know, uh, extinction events after extinction event. They're trying to survive that. Everything die will die out, but they will remain. I guess after all the extinction events. Oh, you'd like to be able to go dormant for half a century? Sure, why not? You'll still be a sitting duck the second you wake up. So, do you plan on banding together and fighting as some sort of an army? Oh, you're you're gonna kill each other. Well, all right then. Okay. So what does that mean? What do you, what do you mean you're gonna kill each other? What? I mean, they do that, they are, they are more like survivalists, and they? they try to survive things. They, you know, they go dormant for a long time so they could survive. They could survive lots of extinction events, radiation, gamma rays. They could literally stay in space. If you, you know, put water on them, they'll come back. I don't know. 
this feels like you know i don't know is it just me is it just me here i feel like this is this is somewhat an op in this sense that they can survive their species can survive for extremely long time oh you're you're gonna kill each other well, all right then okay so i think you get the picture the point is water bears are basically resistant to everything except for the things that would actually kill them they're kind of like doomsday can predators, everything actually. And as a result, they get killed by the millions, by crabs, shrimps, worms, snails, slugs, mites, spiders, scorpions, insects, and other water bears. But hey, if it ever runs into an enemy whose only method of attack is a laser cannon, they'll be alright. It's also important to point out that water bears do not have the extremophile attribute. They can persist in ridiculously harsh environments, but they can't live in them. You get launched into space, you're still gonna die. It's just gonna take you a really long time. You want to play a good survivalist class, I suggest either the Cockroach, Rat, or if you're feeling really extreme, you could try out an Archean. One last thing about water bears. One of the data miners was analyzing water bears, and when he looked through the code, he found that a lot of it was pretty similar to bacterial code. So instead of being like, huh, how did this bacterial DNA get in my sample? He was like, wow, looks like water bears can absorb DNA and incorporate it into their own genome, despite the fact that it would be incompatible. Yeah, that makes sense. Time to publish that. And everyone just kind of went along with it. Damn. I can't tell you how many game guides say something like most alien-like genome of any organism or some other nonsense. Like really? It took other data miners a whole year before they realized, hey, what's more likely? An animal that can steal genetic code or that we messed up? And even though they did publish an updated study, it was too late. The myth had become ingrained in players' minds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, don't buy into the hype. Water bears are one of the weakest classes you could possibly play. Thanks again for all the support over this first month, everyone. Yeah, that's the last point he said about scientific study. That's a massive issue. Now, you know, uh, basically people expect scientists to, you know, prove their worth constantly. So they have to, have to publish papers, certain amounts of papers every year and things like that. So, you know, they science, that's not how science works. Science could take a year or can take 10 years. If you require people to publish studies every year, they are just gonna, you know, release half as things. So it's not like he made a mistake. I'm pretty sure even he realized that this is just basically my study got contaminated. But oh shit, I'm on a timer. So he just released it. And now it's a misinformation out there that people will remember for a long time. So our, you know, we are basically, uh, you know, treating science as a business. Like you have to produce an annual result. That's not how science works, man. This is why every news channel, oh, this is bad for you, this is bad for you, oh, apparently this is good for you now, oh, again, it's bad for you. No, it was, it was always bad for you. One study in one condition said it's a good for you somewhat does not make it good for you. It requires accumulation of, you know, accumulation of different studies. It has to have a one consensus result, like this is it. Otherwise, it's a half as thing. You can't just pick and choose some result from here and there and declare something. That's how news channels uh, are doing it based on the studies that people just put out because they have to, because they have to fill quotas. That's a big, massive issue. And as far as water bears, tardy grades, whatever, I understand his point, Tears' point, like they can't live in that environment without dying. But I'm seeing it from, you know, even more broader picture, like their species will survive for long. I mean, uh, uh, there's a comment here that says that, you know, they are only built besides human that have been on the moon server. So they are doing something right. That is so true. I mean, they, they have been in the space and they still survive. Without suit, we can't survive. They can. You can just put water on them and they just come back to life. I mean, that's just, yeah, I think, you know, water bears are OP in a way that they can survive. Maybe at the live condition, at the time, they are weak. But as a whole species, they they're going to survive basically all extinction event. Because they are, they're, they are, you know, their resistance to all the things that we want to be resistance of. You know, uh, basically radiations, uh, you know, gamma rivers, the asteroid impacts, and all this shit. So in a way, they are OP. I don't know. Alright, that was our Water Bears OP by Tier Zoo. If you like my next phone, like and subscribe. Check out the Wix and there's a link in the description. Check out the cast for the playlist. Check out the end cards. And I'll see you next time.